Well, this election also has a lot of local issues at stake. Nine on your side anchor Julie O'Neill is live at the Hamilton County Board of Elections. Julie. <laughs> here right now is this one race that keeps flipping back and forth and it just flipped again. I'm here with Xavier political analyst Sean Comer. I'm talking of course about the Winkler Lucan race for a probate court. What's going on there? Well, so now we've had uh, Winkler is retaking the lead up 51 to 49 over Lucan. And really, this is a battle of, of great names. These are men who have been elected in the past. Uh, their families have held office in the past. So, widely known names. And this is going to be a race that's going to go late. It's probably not going to be decided until all the votes are counted. You were one of the first to say issue eight is absolutely going to pass. And we now have the final word that issue eight has passed. You're not surprised. This is for Union Terminal. Right. Yeah. right. It's it's a good issue. It's a it's an issue people support. The time was right for it. Uh, people felt like it's it's time to rehab Union Terminal, and there's a good plan in place. So yeah, I think that this, it's a strong issue. Okay, I had one other race I wanted to ask you about, um, and it was the Winburn race in Cecil Thomas. You were the first to say Winburn's not going to pull this out. Your cohort at Xavier, uh, Dr. Jean Beaupre, said it was an uphill battle for Win Winburn. You concur? Uh, absolutely. I mean, this is a very strong Democratic district, and while Winburn ran a great campaign, spent a lot of money, was able to close what in the past has been a very large gap to make it smaller. At the end of the day, this is a strong Democratic district, and when you have a D next to your name on the ballot or an R, that makes a big difference. Now, I, I do want to add that I spoke to uh, Cincinnati Public School Superintendent Mary Ronan just a couple of minutes ago. She is thrilled at uh, how the voters turned out to support Cincinnati Public Schools. They hadn't gotten new money in years. Are you surprised at all about uh, the overwhelming support? Support for Cincinnati Public. You know, I think that uh, it, again, it's it's an issue where people feel like schools are important, and it's been a long time since we've seen one of these issues defeated, especially when it's a renewal. When it's not an increase in taxes, when it is a renewal, people are much more likely to say yes. Okay. All right. Again, Sean Comer, Xavier University. I'm Julie O'Neill, live at the Board of Elections. We'll keep you posted on how things are shaping up here. Back to you. All right, Julie. Thanks so much. We want to reiterate the issue eight. For Union Terminal has passed tonight, so Union Terminal will get refurbished and yeah. taxes will go up by, you know, five cents for every $20 spent, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. Big, big victory for them. Throughout the